looks like the set of a sci-fi film, but these health workers are preparing for a scary and increasingly more likely future. It's funny when people ask me, what do I do and where do I work? <laughs> it's sort of, uh, well, wait for the story because um, I work in the New South Wales Biocontainment Centre. Place the mask in your face. This facility is the first of its kind in Australia. It's designed to treat people with the world's most dangerous infectious diseases. And these nurses are training others to use it. A nurse across here. It's an environment where every move is calculated, Door list. considered and observed, all to stop the spread of deadly diseases. High consequence infectious diseases are relatively rare diseases, but when they occur, they can have a devastating impact on the healthcare system. They're very lethal, um, often a mortality rate of well above 50%. There's no known treatments for them and they spread very easily in the hospital setting to healthcare workers. Only the essentials are allowed in. Even x-rays are done from the outside. This quarantine room has never been used before. A disease like Ebola could put it to the test if it were ever to reach Australia's shores. But it's also ready to take in patients with diseases that don't yet exist. Okay, we're just going to see you after the x-ray. There are lots of zoonic diseases and other high consequence infectious diseases circulating outside of Australia. And you just need one small um, mutation and you have a, another similar situation to COVID. This is all about making sure we're actually prepared for the worst. Staying on watch for the next bio threat. Harriet Tatum, ABC News, Sydney.